Hello traders, hello investors, how are you guys doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is trying to trigger the top sign we did alert in this channel last Friday on our last video which is this shooting star candlestick pattern up here. Today we are losing Friday's low indicating that yes Tesla might correct I am still a little bit skeptical about, about a further drop, but uh, a pullback on Tesla would be a natural movement and not a reason to panic at all. I'm gonna give you guys more details in this video. Just first remember, my dear friends, click on the like button to support this channel. If you're new around here, just subscribe because I'm here every single day to keep you guys updated on Tesla and on other stocks as well. If you wanna get more insights, trading strategies and daily analysis remember to check my trading newsletter the finance hydro trading newsletter i'm here every single day to give you guys the best of technical analysis seriously i really recommend subscribing now back to tesla uh, i mean before we talk about tesla let's talk about the market the s p is dropping minus 0.24 percent the nasdaq minus 0.79 percent However, the S&P is not triggering a top sign today, at least not right now. We are stabilizing, but we are not losing Friday's low like Tesla is doing right now. This is quite curious. Now, the Nasdaq index, on the other hand, it is losing slightly Friday's low, not by much, but it is losing right now. We, it seems uh, the drop is getting a little bit sharper now that we lost the EMA for sure, but still, it seems it is not the end of the world. In this case, the Nasdaq is dropping. It seems it did a false breakout from this resistance previously support level. Now, if it does a pullback to its EMA, that's okay. That's totally plausible and expected. Where is the pr uh, price change tool over here? I I'm always losing my tools on TradingView. So we could easily drop more 1.5% and this is it. If we see any meaningful reaction, any, any bullish reaction, could be any bullish candlestick pattern like a hammer, like a piercing line, like a bullish harami, I don't know, bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, whatever. If we see any bullish pattern near the 21 exponential moving average, I will see this as an opportunity to buy, to buy stocks or even to buy QQQ if you want to trade QQQ, especially especially if we keep above 296, the previously resistance level. Now, it is funny to see the US market dropping like that. VIX going up 4%, but we see, if we see the indices around the world, uh, London UKX went up today, plus 0.40%. Uh, Paris CAC went up plus 0.30%. 3%. Uh, Germany DAX dropped minus 0.33%. Uh, but Ibovespa, my dear Brazilian index, Ibovespa is actually going up more than 1% right now today. Wow, that's quite phenomenal. I say my Brazilian, Brazilian index because I don't know if you guys see, but I'm Brazilian, right? I live in a very small city near Sao Paulo. Now, Brazil is going up, Europe is just fine. When we see the sectors in the US, most sectors are actually going up. The ones that are dropping, they are dropping a little, like 0.09%, 0.01%. Oh my God, I can't believe in that. Uh, minus 0.40%. It feels like the US market is just fine. But why is the S&P dropping like an idiot today? Well, probably, probably it is because, it is because of a few companies. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Tesla, Meta, the semiconductor industry, uh, the, the tech sector, these companies are dropping today, but mostly sectors are doing just fine right now in this moment. This is why we see the S&P stabilizing today, but Tesla is triggering a top sign along with the Nasdaq index. Now, since Tesla is trying to trigger this top sign, but the S&P still seems a little bit resilient, the market seems to be in a broad sense, resilient. What could happen to Tesla? I believe it could drop. It could drop, especially uh, right now, 
we are doing pullback to the 21 exponential moving average in the one hour chart. That's a totally normal and plausible movement. All right. As far as I know, we could drop to the EMA, react and keep going up like crazy. This is a real possibility. But what if we lose this EMA? What if we, we ignore the bull trend seen in the one hour chart? Because in the one hour chart, we are clearly bullish. We are doing higher highs, higher lows. We are above the 700s. That's great. I told you guys, 700s was the most important key point to me. Above this point, we are bullish. Below this point, we are bearish. Right now, we are totally bullish. Okay, we could drop to this purple trend line in the one hour chart or in the daily chart and, and the trend would still be bullish because we are doing higher highs, higher lows. Of course, it would not be the ideal, but this is a real possibility. In my humble opinion, what could happen next? What is the most likely scenario to see? If Tesla does not react today or tomorrow and keeps going up like crazy, uh, I do believe Tesla could correct a little bit more and this is not the end of the world at all. In fact, that would be just an incredible opportunity to buy more shares, add positions. If you are out of Tesla and if you like you miss it, the point over here, it will give you a second chance to join the party. This is going to be phenomenal. A pullback is expected and desirable, at least according to my insights from my perspective. And remember, guys, this is just my perspectives. All right. It's not. I'm not a professional, I'm not a guru, I'm not a financial advisor, okay? I'm just a retail trader like everybody else here, sharing my thoughts and ideas on the internet. Now, if we drop, we have an imminent support level at 792, the previous resistance level over here, okay? If we do lose this point, okay, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna drop more sharply, we're gonna lose this support level, what could happen to Tesla? I believe you're gonna retest this support area around the 757 and around the 21 exponential moving average, which is going up, by the way. It's ascending. It's gonna be higher in the next couple of days. So I do believe a pullback to this area would be totally plausible, a great opportunity to buy, as long as we see a bullish reaction, of course, if we see any bullish structure around this green, green, I'm so sorry, blue area, that would be phenomenal, okay? That would be a perfect moment to buy. Right now, I think it is just a good moment to hold, to not do anything crazy uh, at this moment, especially because I don't believe Tesla is going to drop that sharply. There is no evidence we're gonna reverse. I see a possible pullback but I don't see any reversal structure right now. I don't see a bearish pivot point. I don't see a double top chart pattern. I don't see a head and shoulders chart pattern. I don't see any evidence of a technical reversal in Tesla, just a top sign, which could bring a pullback. And that's good news for everybody over here. All right. So these are my insights. Remember to subscribe to this channel. If you are still watching this video, probably you like it. So seriously, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe my newsletters for more trading ideas and strategies. See you guys tomorrow on our next Tesla video. Stay safe. Farewell.